Hi, my name is Kevin Dingledine, Business Manager with Lyman's Testing Laboratories of Canada. Today I'm going to show you how to inspect your gloves in the field. First of all, what you want to do when you have your rubber glove, you want to remove the leather protector off the glove and then you want to look the leather protector over for any chemicals, deterioration, tears or rips in the leather protector. Should you determine that the leather protector is damaged, it should be removed from service and new ones issued. After you've done your inspection on your leather protector, you want to take the insulated rubber glove, you want to turn the rubber glove inside and out, and with the, the rolled part of the glove here, which is considered the bead of the glove, you want to spin the glove, trapping some air inside it, popping the fingers out, and then doing a careful visual inspection through the inner side of the glove, checking the fingers, the palm area of the glove, the wrist area, and then of course the cuff area of the glove as well. Then you want to repeat that process on the outside of the rubber glove, once again by trapping air into it and doing a careful visual inspection. Once again, you're looking for small nicks, cuts, cracks, uh, or if there's a hole in the glove, it should absolutely be removed from service. Another option, when inspecting your gloves in the field is to use the Salisbury G99 glove inflator, a simple and easy to use unit in the field. By simply placing the unit onto a flat surface and taking your rubber glove, pulling it over the open part of the glove inflator, securely holding the glove in place. Once you've done that, you want to take the strap with the hook and pile faster that is supplied with the unit as well. Take that and wrap that around the top of the glove inflator. Once that is being completed, you want to then take the bellow part of the glove inflator here and start inflating the rubber glove. You want to make sure that you don't inflate the glove more than one and a half times its diameter. Once the air has been put in, then you want to do your careful visual inspection over the entire inner and outer surface of the rubber glove. Once you've completed your inspection, carefully remove the strap off the glove inflator and re carefully remove the glove. Once that has been completed, take your glove inflator and carefully put it back into the bag that is supplied with the unit. If you find a suspected defect, in the rubber glove. It should be removed from service and sent back to the nail accredited testing facility, Lyman's Testing Laboratories, for further evaluation. Remember, always wear your rubber gloves and have a safe day. Thank you.